Riviera is a, is a world which is kind of luxurious, but in fact, well, it really is, it's fantasy. The locations are beautiful and the costumes are beautiful and the cars are beautiful and the boats are beautiful. It's an adventure, it's something that people can dream themselves into. Riviera has a tremendous amount of darkness running through it. It doesn't necessarily feel a million miles away from some of the current affairs that we're living through right now in terms of ambition and where that can take you and greed and where that can take you. Right on the surface, it's shiny and pretty and gold and underneath it, it's corrupt and, and pretty, pretty nasty. The darkness is some kind of polished darkness, which can be intriguing, you can be drawn to it, but you don't really know what you're getting into. Georgina's mother, we learned, had said to her all of her upbringing that you, there's darkness inside you and it triggers all this stuff in Georgina and the trappings of her past keep surfacing again. She's broken away from the class of the Cleos family and, and there's something really badass about her. For her, it's something that's even more of a personal high stakes mission because there's an importance in restoring order and uncovering the truth.